All right, guys, like I said, I'm going to show you how to install these lights. Whoa, that doesn't sound good, guys. Uh, it sounds like it's going to rain, but I'm going to go ahead and continue with this video. Whenever it rains, I'll stop and we'll... Uh, We'll uh, finish it uh, some other day, but I just can't wait. You know, I mean, once I put my hand on it, I just can't wait. I have to finish it because I want to see how it turns out. So these are the brackets that come with it, and I guess this is how it mounts to the T-top, and that right there mounts to the light and you can swivel it you know what I mean so you just have to kind of hold it up and see where you want to mount it and uh, this is like the center you just have to kind of divide it in half okay and predetermine where your brackets gonna mount to on this uh, tubing right here what I did up here you see if you see that little dot I kind of divide this section in half and put a dot right there all right see that dot and measure from that dot out two feet and a half divided by two you get a feet and a quarter inch on both sides so you see that line right there from that line to that dot is a feet and a quarter same thing over here that gives me the distance between this line and this line so what I'll do it's not gonna be exact it's gonna be give or take a quarter inch but that's fine i mean who's here to judge right so what i'll do is i'll drill a hole here and i'll mount that bracket i'll mount this bracket up first then when i put it up there i'm gonna mark where that hole is and i'll drill the other hole man it was just pulling down rain sorry for cutting the video off short guys all right, look at this. Got so much water in the boat. I just tilted the boat up to get all the water out before we can work on it. Yeah. Okay guys, uh, this is what it came with from the factory. It's only one inch long. While it rained, I couldn't do anything else, so I went to the hardware store, Ace, right around the corner of my house, and get a longer one. So that's two and a half or three inches long with the plastic nut on it. What that does is, once you turn it down, it will not back itself out from the vibration. Uh, you see this right here? This is the rubber backing. All right. Goes in there. Come around this way and show the top. All right. So. I need to go find me a, a socket that fits that. Basically, I mount that screw 
from the bracket to the light and let it hang and then I come over here I'm gonna mark the center of the hole so when I go to drill you know I'll be exactly where that hole is There it is guys, not that difficult, it was pretty easy. This is what it's come with, come with the bracket, with a couple of machine screw and nuts and some lock washer and a washer I mean it's really simple to put it in I took this bolt out and I got so lucky that the screw is long enough for me to slap this bracket on and tighten it down so man that was just like two minutes installing the mount for this light thanks God now come the hard part running the wire through the tubing around around back in here go down in here come out this side go down in here and into the wall just like I did on the other side for my antenna hi guys um, I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I what I did um, what I did was figure out where I want to hide a wire so technically see the wire right here I did drill a hole in the tubing right here and this it's gonna go in here around inside a tubing and then come out of here goes to this pipe go down okay and out here then go back in here in and come out under here come out under here all right and from here I'm gonna go into the center console
Okay, um, so I spliced the wire, cut the rubber piece out, and fixing the sl splice them together. And I'm using this tube string. Okay. I'll put it on here. Slice it back. Tuck it out of the way. As for later, when I'm getting ready to shrink them together, so that way they kind of insulate the the two metal piece, two wire together. And I'm using another one for the red side. Kind of slice it in, out the way. Okay, folks, um, here's my mistake, and I don't want you guys to make the same mistake because today I'm wiring two lights one in the front, one in the back. And I was just too anxious to get these wires hooked up. So, what I did was I ran my front light wire through the pipe. first well which i should have done is running both wire through this pipe up and then from here that's where this go to the back light and then this go to the front light but my mistake was I went ahead and pulled all these wire for the front light first and now it's really hard and I got lucky today to feed this wire into this pipe down out and back in here and back out here I got so lucky today the whole was big enough for me to fish through and also this wire is small enough and hard enough for me to kind of fish through. okay so this is what i did i made this point as small as thin as possible because now we don't have much room to go hopefully i don't have any difficulty pulling this through Wish me luck guys Man that was hard Feeding two wire through this one hole Was super super hard but we managed My wife came out and helped me a little bit So you see there It's going inside that tube And out Right there Spliced in Right here and then electrical tape around it super super clean 
I mean, I could have just run it on the outside of the tube, but I didn't like how the wire hanging out, you know, instead of having the whole thing hang out, I just have this two pieces of wire. There we go. Now, let's go inside the battery tunnel. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do next is, as you see, I have two wires coming through here. And then there's like two black and two red going to the battery terminal. What my plan is to splice the positive and negative wire together. Okay guys, um, what I did here is, here's my one wire going to the front light. See how I mark this right here? In case in the future, if one goes bad, I know which uh, relay to go to. This is the front light, and this is the back light. Put a little tape on there with the uh, Sharpies and mark the back light here. So this is the red and black power to the front light, right? What I did here is I splice the black, the black and red of the back light to the red and black of the front light. So that way, instead of having four of these on the battery terminal, I reduce that to just two. One red and one black. But be sure that you splice this wire before the fuse. Like I said earlier, in case if one fuse is blown, you still have power to the other one. Okay? Using heat strength and electrical tape. Okay? It's not the prettiest, but I mean, it's gonna work. We'll have to try it tonight when everything's said and done. All right, here we go. Okay, we have one more step before we can wrap this up. And I'm gonna show you how to install the toggle switch onto the, the dash here. What I did was I went ahead and drill a hole that fit snugly with the diameter of the wire because you don't want to drill it too big and then you end up getting water in it. Well, this toggle switch come with this quick connect uh, clip and to be honest I don't really want to cut the wire to feed through that hole and then splice it um, I don't know if you guys can see this but if I can get away cutting the wire see the uh, metal clip in there Let's see if I can get that to focus. If I can push those out and feed all three of these clips through that hole, that will save me through this hole. That will save me from cutting the wire. All right, let's see if I can do this while holding the camera and show you guys what I mean. Okay. What you try to do is you try to you try to remember which wire go where. So I know my white is to the left and then the blue and then black. I'm not sure if you can see this, but 
I'm using this pick tool and I'll go in there let's see if you can see that push it there comes right out what's holding it on is the little clip right here I'm not sure if you can see it this little clip right here is what holding it on okay so next I'm gonna try to see if I can push all three pins at once through that little hole if not I'll do two at a time okay clearly three won't fit so what I'll do is I'll push one through first and then I'll push the rest through there it is And on the back of this switch, it had, just pull out the tape and it had the uh, sticky tape on the back of it. All you gotta do is push it in. Well, because of the constant power feeding through this red and green indicator lights, now, if it was on a car, it would be fine because we use it every day, but because of the boat, I mean, you take it out once a week if you're lucky. And if you, and because of that, they have this clip designed so you can unclip it so it doesn't drain your battery. Um, if they didn't have this clip, it will constantly feeding the red and green lights. And then within a few days, you come out to crank your boat it won't turn over. All right, let's go on the other side. <clears throat> okay, so I know the white is going to that little hole right there, and then the blue, and then the black. So, white. I believe this is a female. The male is down here. Here's the male. Right? And all you gotta do is push it in. Like so. So while I'm in here, I'm gonna show you guys. See the relay? I had it mount up and high in case if there's any water getting in, you don't, you know, get all wet. And then the red right there, that red wire, 
go on to the positive side and the black wire right here see how black wire go on to the negative side okay now all we gotta do is wait until tonight when there's no light we can come out here and test it there you go guys being eaten alive by these mosquitoes. Woman of truth. Wish me luck. I'm going to turn it on right now. Yes, it's working. Oh my goodness. It's too dry. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. How many watts? Oh, can I sang them? Huh? Sang them? Yeah. It's working, guys. Sorry for the super bright light right straight in your face, but... All right, let's check out the back. There it is. It's working. <laughs> 